Many times in life we have to filter information. You understand me. Engines, believe it or not, are no exception. They have to filter the air. They have to filter the fuel and they have to filter the oil. And you, who are inside the cabin, have something that many people don't even know exists. It's called the pollen filter. Do you know what the pollen filter is? It protects you from all the junk that's floating around out there, which is filtered before it enters the cabin. And for people who go out to breathe, it's especially useful. The pollen filters are usually located inside the dashboard, before the air vents you have in the cabin. You know that the engine basically has a combustion process. The combustion process occurs under two variables that come in. The fuel, we have to filter it. The air, we have to filter it. Combustion occurs. And when combustion happens, particulates are produced. Dirt, residues, some of which go out through the exhaust, but others stick around. The ring comes, he takes it. The ring is covered in oil. He takes it, where does it go? To the oil. And the oil gets contaminated. And when it gets contaminated, what do we have to do? It needs to be filtered. Look how simple all of this is. How much does a human breathe? Breathes about five to six liters per minute. What's the average that someone breathes? An internal combustion engine ignited by a spark. Hold on, that engine is consuming. 1650 liters of air per minute. Just imagine, if the air isn't absolutely pure, all the junk that's going to get into the engine, and how long is your engine going to last? What needs to be done? And how long is your engine going to last? What needs to be done? Filter it. But I'm going to be even more serious. You may have noticed that the filters in diesel engines are usually larger than the filters in spark ignition engines. And why? Because there's a small detail. The spark ignition engine has a throttle valve that regulates the amount of air that enters. The diesel engine, on the other hand, sucks in all the air it can, and if it's a turbo, let me tell you, we're talking about 4,000 liters a minute. That's equivalent to 650 people breathing. But there's also a very common mistake, which is blowing it out. Don't tell me you've never blown out a filter, because I don't believe you, mechanic. Everyone blows out gasoline and diesel filters, but especially the diesel ones. The effect of blowing out a filter is more or less like shooting a shotgun at the filter if you blow it from the inside out. What you're going to do is tear the paper, and what's more, there are people who say, if I blow it out, it even lasts longer. Sure, it lasts longer because all the dirt gets in and it doesn't filter a thing, you see. Forget about blowing out the filters. Filters are meant to be changed, not cleaned. What are the air filters like on the inside? We have the idea that it's a strainer, but it's not a strainer full of little holes. No. It's a mesh. The paper in the filters is a mesh of fibers. And among those fibers, which create small grids, that's where the dirt particles get trapped. That fiber can have more or less mesh to catch larger or smaller particles. That's why, when you clean it with an air blower, it comes out again. But when it comes out, it tears the fibers. And where it tears the fibers, it leaves a hole. Use high-quality filters, which are the ones that have the right paper and treatment. For example, air filters have a treatment that is flame retardant because there can be a backfire. And if you don't have it, your car will catch fire. Did you know? Surely not. The filter is one of the cheapest parts there is, and it directly affects the wear and functioning of the engine. You don't mess around with filters. You're going to save on a filter? That's nonsense. 